Hi everyone, my name is Sam Johnson and I studied a Bachelor of Civil Engineering at UNSW from 2012 to 2016. And currently I work as an infrastructure consultant at a place called the World Bank. And I'll just explain what the World Bank is because it's not like a Commonwealth Bank or something that you might be more familiar with. But what it actually is, is a very important source of financial and technical assistance to many countries, 189 countries around the world. And it's driven primarily by these high goals of um, ex ending extreme poverty and improving incomes for the bottom 40% of people in each country. How it does this is through large grants and low interest loans in the value of tens of millions to billions of dollars. And these grants support a wide variety of investments in areas like education, healthcare, agriculture, environmental management and conservation, and infrastructure. And specifically, I work in the area of transport infrastructure. I ended up working for the World Bank because I've always been interested in engineering, not just for engineering's sake itself, but rather for the way that public infrastructure improves quality of life for us every day as people. It's the services provided by engineers and technicians like water, transport, waste, wastewater, housing, telecommunications, many others that make our lives better. And I'm interested in the science and practice of how we can have happy people living healthy lives sustainably while making sure that the local environment and the planet overall stays healthy, which is a very big challenge facing the 21st century. So what I do on a day-to-day -day basis is I assist client governments in the Pacific Islands mainly with the preparation and implementation of World Bank finance transport projects in the land, marine and air transport sectors. So think roads, ports, airports. I provide advice on all aspects of transport sector management, including how the system is planned out, how it's financed, how it's maintained, how the nuts and bolts are designed and constructed, as well as how the institutions and regulations are set up and enforced. It's a very multidisciplinary job and I'm very lucky to work with um, engineers and scientists and anthropologists and accountants and many other um, fields of, of practice. Because the, the job means I'm working on uh, major projects, I'm lucky to get to work with people at the ministerial level through to many different government officials and consulting companies and, and people in the general public. Similarly, I'm lucky to get to travel a great deal with the job before COVID um, and was lucky to go to some of these very, very beautiful places in the Pacific Islands like Tonga and Fiji and Solomon Islands and Vanuatu and, and experience their cultures and, and work with, with counterparts from those countries. My pitch to you as future engineers is that I would love it if you all considered as a primary thought, how you can use your career to make the world a more just and sustainable place. And I know that's a cliche, but I suspect that for many of you who choose engineering, you will actually end up dedicating much of your working career to helping society make the rapid transition to living within the means of one planet. I don't think this is just gonna be something that you'll do if you're an altruistic good person. It's, it's something that you'll do and you'll get paid well to do it. So there are two big races to be run here. And one of them is the race to net zero carbon emissions as soon as possible. And the other is to keep the ecological footprint per person, how much we resources we consume and produce within what the planet can sustainably provide. These are huge challenges, which means huge opportunities for engineers like yourselves to implement the transformative change we need, which means changing how many sectors, all sectors of our economy and society are run, including 
innovation in areas of building design, energy supply and demand, food production, reforestation of areas, establishing circular material loops so materials aren't wasted, and areas like decarbonising transport. Many opportunities, and I really look forward to seeing what fresh new ideas that you all imagine and implement to transform our world to be more sustainable.